This is what 1000 EM looks like on Kuki. But how did we get here? How did a 4-star B-tier healer suddenly become one of the best DPSs in the game? Hoyoverse added a lot of green characters into the game. Like, a lot of them. A lot, a lot. Freck is a playable character in 2024. Welcome back, bullies. Today we're going to be spending over 4,000 resin to level up Kuki, and uh, we're finally giving her some love. This whole time she's been patiently waiting for her turn to go, but it's time. It's finally time. Today I'll be ascending her, leveling her up, her talents, weapon, artifacts. We'll be taking a look at her constellations, and we'll finally be able to figure out why one of the newest four stars in the game is now one of the best characters and DPS in the game. Ahem. <clears throat> New as in released in the last 12 months. Anyways, does your account owner continuously make you press E and hurt yourself? Well, if that is the case, let me tell you about today's sponsor. Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm with over 800 lawyers in 49 states. There are certain things you should do when you get in an accident. Check you're okay, get a police report, contact your insurance, and make sure you get legal representation. Injured and don't know where to start? With Morgan & Morgan, it's so easy. With Morgan & Morgan, you can submit a claim without ever having to leave the couch. You can submit your case details, sign contracts, upload documents, and medical records all from your cell phone. In eight clicks or less, you can submit a claim to Morgan & Morgan. And if you're ever injured or in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. For more information, go to forthepeople.com or dial pound law, that's pound 529 from your cell phone. Thank you again to Morgan & Morgan. So it's finally time to level Kuki. First things first, before we do anything else, I think it's only fair that we change our wallpaper to Kuki. Keys. I've forgotten which one it looks like, but this is what a kooky main would do. Okay, this is what Friendship 10 looks like. There it is. Wait, it actually looks so pretty. Oh my god. Okay, and then we just gotta find Kuki Shinobu. There we go. Look at this. Just pick up the pace. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying my best out here. In terms of what I've farmed already, we have a few weapon options for her. So we've got the key, which was a mistake, but ends up working pretty good here for Kuki. We also have some free-to-play options like Iron Sting which is craftable, as well as the event weapon, the, oh god, Hokabo Shigeru? Shigeri? Anyways, it's got the weird eye thing. It's an umbrella. Actually, this is perfect. It's raining right now. We need this. Just uh, take that out. There you go. Outside of the weapon, which we'll figure out what we're doing later. There's some scrap artifacts on here, I think. I had these to stop her dying when I was friendship farming her, but we'll go through her different options. We'll probably be playing her Hyper Bloom, because honestly, if you're not playing Kooky Hyper Bloom, what are you doing? And then we'll have a look at our constellations. I've only gotten two, unfortunately, but I think two is the break point. This one here increases the duration of her E by three seconds, which is kind of amazing. I'm not going to lie. Imagine lasting three seconds longer. <clears throat> Anyways, I heard her C6 is also really, really great, but not sure we're going to get here in this video unless I'm about to drop $20,000 on a standard banner. So other than that, her talents, they're all 111. You'll be bringing these up as well, though I don't think they matter that much if you're playing Hyper Bloom Cookie, but if you are playing her as a healer or the team uh, desperately does need healing, then I would probably level up the E. Oh, it doesn't matter too much or the burst someone's been playing too much star rail auto attack don't even look at that in terms of her passive she's got one that uh gives her increased healing when her health is not higher than 50 percent aka less than 50 percent why do they word it like this they could have said less but they wrote not higher does that mean something different also there's this one here when using her e abilities will be boosted based on her em so healing amount is increased by her em which is great and damage dealt is increased by her em too so she was intended for hyper blue also finally her exploration talent. Uh, you get some more rewards if you explore in Inazuma. But let's be real. If you're sending people out in Inazuma for exploration, you've got Mora, you've got flour and a, an apple, you've got a eggplant. Some good choices here. Seaweed, a piece of chicken. She's really good, guys. She's really, <laughs> she's really good. Just not for exploration. Don't use her passive. I'm only there because I'm coping. But other than that, um, we should be able to level her now. Oh my god, what is this stretch animation? Look at that midriff. I I'm only leveling her because, uh, mm -mm. for the hyper bloop. Yeah, for meta reasons. Me uh, meta reasons. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Anyways, I guess we'll start by leveling her up then. Oh, I forgot to show off what boss materials I farmed. So look at me go, okay? I already power farmed all of her boss materials. She's re ready to go level 90. I don't usually do this, especially for a four star character, but cookie scales on HP, hyper bloom damage scales on level. It just makes sense, you know? So we're gonna do that today. So let's give her some more XP books as she <laughs> stretches in the background, making sussy sounds when stretching. Who would, who would do that? Anyways, we're gonna need a little bit more XP. Okay, let's try something like this. This is Hyper Bloom Kinda and also a farming team. One thing I forgot, what does she level up with? Okay, let's go get some specters as well then. It works out perfectly, right? I need these to level her up anyway, so maybe this is okay. As I yeet her off the tallest building in the sky. Actually, let's change her wings. I'm gonna have to stare at this for that long. What do we do? I mean, that's not bad. This feels like a little too much going on. Green? Oh, no. I think this is it. I like green. I know she's an electro character, but the green with her hair? Oh, okay, okay. It has to be this one. If you're not picking the green wings, what are you doing? Probably not spending 20 hours trying to get level 10 friendship in uh, Sumeru. That's what you're doing. So you know what? Good for you. <laughs> I, the, the baby cannot stand in the water. Okay, her short legs. This is, this is pretty rough. How am I gonna, is it dead? She, she can't reach the drops. All right, let's um level up Kuki then. Oh my God, we're gonna have to use so many of these. Okay, any dialogue? Finding an advanced certificate is not easy. Mm -hmm. It requires both talent and actual combat experience. I have both, mm -hmm. very talented. <laughs> Never skill issue ever before. Okay, so we've got 1600 books. Let's see how many we have at the end. Can we ascend? Oh Fight. my God, okay. Good thing is you don't have to level many of her talents, okay? If you're doing this at home, you haven't leveled Kuki yet and you're watching along, it's okay. At least you only have to do her level and one talent. It could be worse. It really could be worse. We've got to make some of these. So... Okay, no dialogue. One more level. Sorry, one more ascension even. We've used a hundred books. It's not that bad, especially because I started uh, halfway through. Only thing is this final one. That's where it gets really expensive. Okay, I need two more of these gems. Whoops, miscounted. This should be it, right? Final Ascension. We got everything. What do you have to say? Certificates are useful for judging professional skills. Uh-huh. But they fail to measure the amount of effort or emotional investment involved. Emotional investment? Our friendship has gone beyond something that can be expressed I killed the rune serpent a hundred times for you. Let me express my feelings by always giving the very best of my abilities. Huh? Okay, you know what? It's better than, you know, some other characters talking about trees and that sort of thing for 10 hours. So, you know what? I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. And uh, we're about to use 171 books. We went from level 50 to 80 for like 100 books. Now we're about to spend 171 of them for nine levels. Okay. Um, At this point, you might as well finish it off, right? So she's level 89. Let's go find some more specters, I think. We do need a little bit more. And actually, before we do that, I do want to hear some of her other lines because I think I missed them because she was already leveled. So good thing we have that friendship 10. The receiving gift. This is truly exceptional. <clears throat> I'll just have another bite. Oh, uh, okay. Feelings about Ascension Climax. Don't say anything. Don't say it. If you haven't mastered the basics, then there's no point in even trying to discuss it. Uh-huh. That's the purpose of a basic level certificate. To show you actually attacked. know something. I have an intermediate uh -huh. certificate which means that I'm qualified to handle most problems. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, yeah, yeah. Clearing the abyss would be pretty good. That's a good start. Let's go kill a few more specters and get her to level 90. Okay, how about we um take everything off for a sec? Let's have a look. So her stats would be 15k HP, 0 EM, crits the normal amount 5 to 50, 100 ER, and the uh, resistance is because of the teammates we have for her. Let's uh, activate her constellation. So the first one makes the ult or the burst have a bigger AoE. Really, it doesn't matter. This one is the important one. It makes your E last three seconds longer. And let me tell you, three seconds uh, <clears throat> makes a big difference. 
And um, I think currently her E normally only lasts 12. By having this constellation, it goes up to 15. Wait, is that how it works? Or was it 9 before and then the constellation changed it? I'm pretty sure it's normally 12. And then when you do that, you have now 100% uptime, which is really, really good. Other constellations, they give you some levels. So C3, pretty good as well. Increases the, uh, the level of your E. You've got C5, gives you your burst levels. And then C6, which gives you the EM, which is really good as well. Honestly, I think the C2 is more important and more obtainable for most people. Okay, how about we try to level up her talent and then we'll pick the weapon and we'll pick her artifacts. So time for a quick leveling montage. Okay, and uh, I refuse to farm specters. <laughs> I refuse. So we might have to settle for a uh, level eight. Actually, that's something I wanted to check. What are her other voice lines for people? Feelings about Ito. <sighs> the boss has a lot of unpleasant memories from his past, uh -huh. but he still manages to stay positive. Oh, she's being super sweet. I thought she was going to talk smack. Again, what about her face mask? I wear mask? a mask because I don't want to be recognized by anybody. You're, are you kidding Especially me? Especially when I'm working with the Arataki Okay, okay, game. I'm going to have to stop her there. She doesn't want to be recognized. She has bright green hair and the craziest outfit ever. Like, the mask is going to make the difference, huh? Really? Oh my god, that's Kuki. I recognize her now. Oh my god, it's her. And then she's like, oh, let me put the mask back on. Where'd she go? Who, who is that? All right, let's go to her weapon then. So we had 15,000 HP before. I think if we give her the key, it might be the best one here. It gives more HP, scales with HP, and it gives EM based on her max HP. So honestly, pretty good. And it even gives your teammates EM as well. So I don't know, it sounds pretty cracked. We're already at 26,000 HP, which is crazy. Just reading the weapon again. So I have to use the elemental skill to hit an opponent. Then we get our EM and, um, um, it seems to pretty much last forever as long as you keep it stacked. So sounds like a pretty good deal. Let's go test it out first. So this is with 25,000 HP. Nowhere close to a max potential. We have... Daddy, what are you? Okay, you know what? Could be worse, could be worse. It's definitely not bad. Considering we only have 25,000. And that's one stack. I think it stacks more. Okay, is that more now? 145. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. Compared to her other weapon choices, like the free-to-play ones, this only gives 165. Iron Sting gives 165. We also have Xyphos, which is really, really good on most of these characters. The energy recharge kind of doesn't matter for her as much compared to other characters because you're not really carrying about the burst as much but um yeah i think honestly if i had to pick between the two i'd probably use the event one just because it looks sick and also because you don't even have to craft it you can save your sword billets for an anonoma or um what's the sumeru one the other sword you know what i'm talking about the one that makes the seed yeah all right so on to the artifacts in terms of the set you probably have two real choices you've got the flower of paradise set which gives you your bloom hyper bloom and virgin extra damage which you know makes sense if you're doing a lot of those reactions and on the other side you have gilded dreams which honestly can be just as good depending on the sub stats and um the good thing for kuki is really she only needs two stats she doesn't even need er she just needs elemental mastery and hp and the hp part is optional so if i just have a look at my artifacts and i filter on em okay so even though i would normally say that this set probably would give you a little bit more damage because of the bloom bonus damage here the amount of bonus damage that this gives your team and still getting attack it's still valuable as well this might be better for me so can i equip in combat where am i oh my god whoops that means we're going with Gilded Dreams for me. Especially if you're early into the game and you're farming artifacts or you've been able to start farming five-star artifacts. I would say farming this set is the most risen efficient as well because you get this, you get deep wood at the same time. These are really good artifacts, especially in the current meta. Okay, so we're pretty much just gonna jack everything from Kokomi. Sorry, not sorry, I guess. This piece on Ye as EM, two rolls of HP. Maybe it could have been a little bit more, but it's not the end of the world. For one in my life i, I want to see some hp rolls it's quite strange isn't it and then in terms of the circlet this one actually is not bad this one's got two percentage hp rolls one flat we take that off gene and then this one i guess we can use anything 
It doesn't really matter. As long as it's got EM on the top. Kazaha? You know what? I'm going to say Kokomi's because I don't want to... I don't want to have to mess with Kazaha's artifacts later. But just know that we would have had a little bit more HP on top of it. So in terms of her final stats then, she has 35,000 HP, 889 elemental mastery with a zero stacks on the weapon. But once it's stacked, it should be something comparable to, to this, maybe a little bit more. So around 960, maybe even a thousand if we're lucky. We're going to go test that out. Even free to plays, you guys should be able to achieve something like 900 elemental mastery, probably like 20,000 HP at the same time. So would be still really, really good. But let me go find out how much EM we have now. Okay, that's one stack, two stacks, three stacks, I think. Okay, 1,093 elemental mastery. What does that mean for our bloom damage? 565% extra bloom damage. Okay, or hyper bloom damage. I probably need to actually proc the reaction, but just from this alone, we're already doing so much. Okay, so we put the dendro on, make sure we have hydro application. Let's see. Where did he go? I can't. I can't even see the numbers. He's just dead. Hopefully someone uh, caught that or missed the editor. You can probably freeze frame it and see the big number. Let's do some more testing. I haven't done my dailies yet. It's time to uh, see how Kuki is doing dailies. We know she's OP in the abyss, but... What about my commissions? Also real quick, if you're enjoying the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It's the best way to support me and it's free. Thank you in advance. So unfortunately we're still friendship farming, which kind of sucks for these two, but that's not going to stop us. Okay. We can definitely still hyper bloom. It's going to be a little bit jankier than usual, but let's try something like maybe something like a, a Xing Chu. So I would come up here, get some hydro. Okay. Um, one of these, and then now we E. I can't see the number. I actually can't see the number help. I think it was 38,000. Honestly, 38,000 every other second is such an insane amount of damage. Overworld wise, not really any benefit to having Kuki out, unfortunately. I mean, she did just slap that bird out of the sky though, so maybe that is a benefit. I think that's like 30,000, 28,000 maybe? Can you imagine you were just a local and this flying green nut hits you in the head and you explode and you get one shot, that's... <laughs> Unlucky, I guess. Also, while we're doing this, one of the great things about Kuki is that for a lot of the Hyper Bloom teams in the game currently, you use things like Raiden, you use Ye Miko, who are all five star characters and they apply it off field. But Kuki's four star. She's been on a recent banner and honestly, you don't even need the constellations. I know I was talking about how great C2 is, but even without it, you're lasting 12. Yeah, I think it's 12 out of 15 seconds, which is pretty much 100% uptime. So really, although it's nice to have, she is super free-to-play friendly and hyper bloom already is one of the most free-to-play friendly team comps also how cool is that animation last commission and then we're gonna go test her out in some boss fights akim i feel like we've talked to you before what do you want uh something about pottery this is what we do okay we save gods we resolve geopolitical situations and we we get soil for akim i guess shout out akim man we love akim <laughs> we ain't doing this for free by the way i'm gonna invoice akim afterwards who's gonna break the rocks oh oh she's breaking the whoa a normal attack animation so sick what the hell wait let's see that normal attack animation one more time okay oh my god the kunais that's so cool like even if it does 10 damage and oh my god okay we just gave akim a suitcase full of dirt and he's like good job thank you thank you i tried my best all right you know what it might be worth to try just on one bounty and see how good kuki is for you know everything else that's not boss battles and then finally i probably will test out her healing as well just because she's on the em build for some people it means that oh she's probably not healing that much but i think between her still pretty decent hp balance especially if you can um get a second hydro unit on the team that'd be insane and uh also because of her talents this one here giving you elemental mastery converted into healing still a pretty good deal okay let's go no Mm -hmm. Cube, you're going to cut that out of the video, right? You're going to... You, you know what? This is an opportunity to test the healing. Okay, 3.2k a tick. That's not bad. I think that's still pretty decent, especially if you have a Xing Chu to do the uh, damage mitigation. Honestly, uh, maybe I'm coping, but I think it's pretty good. Probably enough to be a, a solo healer on the team. Now, um, I just need you to apply the Hydra onto them so we can Hyper Bloom. Look, she's already full HP. We, I mean, uh, she was full HP the whole time. Uh, <laughs> nothing happened at all. Okay, let's go test it out on some boss battles. Also, I probably 
should use my intended team comp. I just realized we were using a friendship farming team, so probably not the best representation of how much damage you can do. So we definitely need these two characters. And for me, if you're using on field Nahida, you can get away with running double Hydro, which is what I plan to do. This way, Yelan's getting HP, Kuki's getting HP, and I think Nahida's gonna be on field. So we probably want Nahida to open up, mark everyone. Then we cycle through our Hydro units, and then we'll finish off with Kuki to start procking the Hyper Bloom. I'm sure the others are fine, right? I'm not gonna check their build too much, but I think that looks okay. And how much health does Kuki have now? 38,000, okay. Why is her EM so low? Did I do something? Oh, we had double Dendro units before. That's right, okay, okay, okay. So I guess we're gonna lose a little bit of EM because double Dendro gives you what? It gives you 50 EM and after triggering a reaction, 30 EM for six seconds. Okay, so it's about 70 EM that we lost. That's a bit unlucky, but it's okay. I think the HP is still a great addition, especially if you're trying not to die. You know, one of my favorite things to try to do, not die. Sorry. All right, always back to the Primo Geo Vishab. He's the baseline for the testing. Hopefully he's uh, not too grumpy today. Okay, we're gonna take a cute little picture of him. Make a dollhouse. Sing Chu goes E, Q, E. Yell on E, Q. Kuki puts down her E, and we just have to stand on the blooms and auto attack. Okay, so immediately I'm getting my ass kicked. My baby cannot move, but at the same time, it's kind of getting evaporated. Oh my gosh, he's, he's, he's kind of dying. Okay, maybe if I didn't get bounced like 20 times, he would be dead right now. But, you know, that was still insanely fast. Yeah, a bit unlucky, my, my little baby. She doesn't have any interruption resist, so still need to dodge. Need to remember how to do that one. But lots of damage, lots and lots of damage. Okay, let's go try the Aeon Blight Drake. Drake, what are you doing in the game? I thought you were on tour right now. Please clap, please, please laugh, please clap. <laughs> I'll be here all week. Oh my gosh, I just realized when you switch into her, I mean, this is for all characters, but her vision, it like has a little effect on it. And since she's Electro, it has the Electro symbol. How cool is that? Wait, where's Yelan's one? It's on her, huh? Is it her hand? No, it's on her waist as well. Oh, okay. That's so cool. Wait, what, what happens if you're an Archon? You don't have a vision. What does it shine? Is it her head? A little leaf thing. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, now to go terrorize the local wildlife. Um, I don't know if this counts as local wildlife now that I think about it, because it's like, I don't think this was here when they moved, you know, into Sumeru, but let's go stomping away. Um, I'm trying to spot the Hyper Bloom damage and I can't. There's too many numbers on the screen. It's dead. Okay, it's dead, it's dead. So Hyper Bloom and Kuki, right? It's pretty cool. Pretty, <laughs> oh my God. And this was with the um, reduced EM. I think we had a thousand and seventy before, which is even more insane. But this is pretty good. This is pretty good. What I'm going to test out now is against the Dorito chip, who's been a little bit of a menace in the abyss again. But I also kind of want to test out the healing. All right, let's say hello to uh, Bob. Okay. And then we're just going to start left clicking as he... Where, what the hell is happening? I can't see the number. Where is the number? I just see a billion blue numbers and some green text, but where is the damage? Like I, I see the health melt, but what was the numbers? I guess there was only really one thing else to test. I would say abyss, but I don't want to clear the whole abyss just to test out. We'll probably try against uh, a Raiden, I think. It's uh, Raiden, who's also used for Hyper Bloom a lot, versus her four star replacement, who um, is also very green. Love that. The four star version, free to play option. Does she do a better job than she does, you know? You also heal as well. I've already scuffed the rotation a little bit, but we're not going back. Okay. Um, I'm trying to look at the damage. I think it's about 30,000 on Hyper Bloom. I need to get closer. If, if you stand too far away, the problem is then you can't Hyper Bloom properly. Which one? That's the real one. Okay, quick, quick, quick. What? What? Oh no, that was unfortunate. Not part of the plan at all. Okay, Kuki do the Hyper Bloom. Yeah, so it's about 29,000 each. Honestly insane. Stop moving, stop. Just let me hit you. No, 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 no. Let me just, let me just, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And the good thing you've noticed is that I'm actually not dying at all. Because we have the damage reduction on Xingqiu. Oh, 
So when I said we were not dying, I um I, I like I'd like to retract that statement. What I meant to say is during that fight, I was not dying. I'm very much dying now. Oh my god. The healing is not bad. I swear I'm not trying to just gaslight myself. Okay, 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 okay. Cookie. Here we go. Look, she's got it under control, okay? She's just riding but better. Okay, that's not true. That's gonna create some haters for sure. I'd like to retract my former statement before I get cancelled on Twitter. Oh, oh, stop that. Oh, okay. You got this, right, Cookie? You got the jumps. You got the you got the jumps? Look at this movement. Okay. Oh, oh, oh god. Okay, um, definitely dodged all of those. What's crazy is that we actually almost one cycled her. I think I've only ever done it with Hu Tao before. So this is kind of impressive. I'm not gonna lie. She's just dead. Okay, all you need is a little baby and uh, your replacement. This character is uh, free to play, friendly for sure. <laughs> I know I'm using a five star weapon, but you don't even have to do that. You could use literally any of the options I showed before and do something similar. You can use this, this, probably this one as well, to be honest. She has so many great options. Okay, so I've been trying Kuki for a little bit now and I've just got to be honest. She's just cracked. We all knew she was cracked, but when she originally came out, I don't think many people thought she was very good. She seemed to be a mediocre healer she had some weird em scaling which no one understood at the time like why does she have this are you meant to build em are you meant to build hp but i think mihoyo knew from the start that hyper bloom was going to be pretty powerful and they gave kuki em scaling so i think they had this in mind knowing that she was going to work well with dendro units and do a crazy amount of damage whether they knew she was going to be this cracked probably not and to be honest i think if they could nerf her, they probably would. The same with Bennett and Xing Chu. Some of these characters are just a little too good, you know? But unfortunately they can't. So make sure if you're even thinking about trying to clear the Abyss as a free-to-play, Kuki should be one of the key characters you're looking for, along with characters like Xing Chu and Bennett. Kuki is definitely among there at the top of the leaderboard, at the top of the ladder, as one of the best four-star units in the game. So that's pretty much all I had planned for today. Thank you all for watching till the end of the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you haven't already and you can find me streaming several times a week on twitch stay up to date by joining our community discord and a link to my socials in the description thank you all for watching take care love you all and i'll see you in the next video